I got the results back on your recent blood work and your CD4 count continues to go up. It's gone up another 50 points and your viral load is still undetectable. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, it is. It's really good. Mm. Why don't we go over your meds? Show me how you're taking your medications. Did you bring them? Yeah, I did. I have them right here. Great. I'm taking this, six of these, twice a day. Mm -hmm. And this one, I'm taking one twice a day Great. with meals. Great. Excellent. Now, tell me how you're doing overall. I'm feeling okay, but I'm kind of worried. What happens when these pills don't work anymore? What do you mean, don't work anymore? Well, I've been doing some reading, and I know some people who've been down this road a lot further than I am. I ran into one of them the other day. He's thin, sick. He's got sores all over him. His doctor said he's run out of options. He used to take the pills religiously, and yet he's still he's suffering so much. I don't want to go like that. I need you to help me when the time comes. What exactly do you mean by help you? I want you to give me a way out so I can go quickly. I really need to understand what you mean by suffering. I'm afraid of losing control over myself. I've seen people die, and they lose control over their minds. They just go crazy. They're like helpless babies. They can't even go to the bathroom on their own. I don't want to go like that, and I don't want to put anyone else through that either. I'm sure that some of your friends have had a difficult time of it, but you know everybody lives with this disease differently. But no matter what happens, I want you to understand that I'm going to be here for you. And we can work together on dealing with your fears about death. I'm not so much afraid of actually dying. It's the stuff that happens before you die that scares me. I, I can imagine, and I can understand how that would be very fearful for you. I just want you to know that from my experience with other patients, going through this, that that can actually be a very positive and meaningful time in a person's life, filled with a lot of love and peace. And sometimes it's meaningful because of the other people that are involved in that with you. I expect that you would want Bob to be part of that time in your life. Is that correct? Yes. So maybe what we ought to do is involve Bob in this discussion. And the next time we meet, invite him to come so that we can talk about these things with him. I'll, I'll ask him. OK. When you came in here today, you felt that there was one option, and that that was to have pills. There are many options. And perhaps when Bob is with us, we can spend some time thinking about those things that you find the most fearful and talking together about ways that we're going to deal with them, should they happen. And having plans can sometimes be a way of allowing you to feel that there's some control over this situation. And uh, that's something that we can work on together.